Round two, the Warzone Singles Tournament. Ah, uh, I'm nervous. Really, really nervous. I know Payson really wants it, but I also want it too. I want to go to the next round, and he makes me nervous. We've both beaten each other in teams, and he's beaten me in the Game of Faction Singles Warzone match. I'll just hope for the best. Yeah, as you said, both of you have beaten each, each other in various settings. But today is a new match. Today is a format you have never faced each other in. So anything could theoretically happen. We both know how good Pacer is, but we both know how good you are too. So just don't don't be nervous and just hope for a great match. Okay, good luck, Payson. Hopefully more luck for myself. Good luck, Payson. He's correct to be nervous. He's correct to be nervous. I'll tell him that already. Uh, I, I'll tell you, I was, I was annoyed during that promo. Not because of anything he said, but because the sound of him twirling that fucking Rubik's Cube was just irritating as shit. Can't stand what that computer's doing with this fucking R R Rubik's Cube, man. Get it out of my face. Uh, but look, uh, I, th I think this corner of the tournament is is like designed for us to have a great run. I think we, we played great the last one. I think we're going to play great in this one. I like our odds of this tournament. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah. And yeah, Joseph said he was nervous, and I think he has a point. At the end of the day, I'm the 16th seed. He's the one seed. What do I got to lose it to prove to everyone that I am? And exactly. He says. So you know exactly. what? Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another exciting episode of Multiplex Movie Warzone. Uh, I will be your host today, uh, Mark. Yeah, I'm in shock. That's my name. And sitting next to me, Dylan Van Thine. We got an exciting match. Uh, the number one seed, uh, Joseph Olivas going up against the number 16 seed, Payson Johnson. Should be a spicy one, Dylan. What do you think we'll get today? Uh, I think this will be a great match. Like both of these guys played fantastic in their uh, last matches. Uh, Payson, the Payson one, I don't like to talk about very much, but it was a good match either way. Uh, so, yeah, it should be a fun one. I had to ask. I'll just say that. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and bring uh, bring uh, our competitors in, and we'll just get this one going. You guys know how this works. It's round one. It's like every round one ever. You're going to get eight questions, eight different movie categories. You get a right. You get a point. If you don't, who cares? You just don't get anything. And uh, if you get all eight right, you get a bonus question. Any other questions about the match so we can begin? We're good. Nope. Gladly. All right. Let's start out with your uh, first category today, which will be Oscars. What was the only 90s film to win Best Picture but not be nominated for an acting Oscar? You know, Dylan, you made a point that, you know, we were the double data kids. Yes, as exactly. they like to call us. DDKs. Yeah. <laughs> the DDKs. That's right. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. And pens down. Okay. Let's start with Joseph. Freedom! Braveheart. Payson? Braveheart. Braveheart is the correct answer. All right. So your next question comes in the category of biopics. What medical condition does Christy Brown have in my left foot? I feel like we brought the mood down. I feel like every time we ask about medical conditions, you know, it's yeah. everything. Can you dance? Or do you have no. two left feet? No. <laughs> two, one. Sorry. There are jokes, people. Decent. <laughs> Cerebral palsy? And Joseph? Cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is the correct answer. Moving right along. Your next category, mystery thriller. Who plays Detective Lieutenant Elliot? Oh, Who plays Detective Lieutenant, Lieutenant Elliot in Knives Out? Anybody need technical on that? It did kind of... The question did kind of set you up like they were going to say a last name, but... <laughs> I mean, just Elliot. 
I mean, I don't say that I'm gonna I'm gonna make somebody angry later on. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and pens down. Let's go to Payson. Lakeith Stanfield. All right, and Joseph. Lakeith Stanfield. Both are correct. So your next question comes in action adventure. In Taken, Brian formerly worked for what organization? I'm out of jokes already, Dylan. Have you ever been taken? Possibly. Five. Pause for a, <laughs> wait for applause. <laughs> but, uh, uh, Joseph. I am taken aback by these jokes. I said CIA. Oof, Payson. I put FBI. The CIA is the correct answer. Joseph will strike first blood. Moving on to your next category in directors. Who directed Man on the Moon? I haven't seen this one. Do they actually go to the moon or do I not no. need to see it? Okay. Uh, there, there are very few men on moons. Damn. Kind of sounds it's like ju it's just a disappointing to kill a mockingbird. Four, Damn. three, really bad marketing. Two, one, bends down. Okay, uh, pace him. Shout out to Andrew Barr. Give me my man, Milos, Milos Forman. And Joseph, I did not remember that. All right, Milos Forman is the correct answer. No more perfect rounds with that. So our next question will be in classics. What U.S. state does Giant take place in? You love location questions. Just absolutely. Where is this? As a Canadian, when nothing makes me more excited when I hear a question than what U.S. state? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one, and pens down. Uh, Joseph, California, and Payson. I believe it's Texas. Texas is the correct answer. Payson taking the lead on that one. Go to your penultimate category in scores and soundtracks. Eric Carmen performed what hit song for Dirty Dancing? I don't want to make any references to the title of this movie, or else I think yeah. I'll have a pacing moment. I'm yeah, I keep I, I keep thinking that. I, I think I'll do the same thing. Four, <laughs> three. Two, one, pens down. Uh, Payson. Is it I've had the time of my life? And Joseph. I said she's like the wind. Both incorrect. We are looking for hungry eyes. Okay. Mm, that's right. So your last question of round number one it comes in the category of drama. What drama features su the supporting characters of Chief Bromden, Martini, and Billy Babbitt? It was a Billy Bibbit. Billy Bibbit. Billy Bibbit, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I mean, there's so many Bs. Yeah. A lot of them. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Joseph. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. And Payson? Give me my man, Milos. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. One flew over the cuckoo's nest is the correct answer, which will bring us to the end of round one. Payson Johnson right now has the lead at six to Joseph's five. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yep. All right, great. We will now move on to the wheel round, where like where we will uh, go to our lovely wheel, and competitors can pick and can spin from a variety of categories, which which today. Will will be as coming of age slash teen, Robert De Niro, drama, directors, as long as our strengths, recent releases, and ten, directed by Tim Burton from Payson, and classics. I'm oh, um, sorry. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, there's strengths from recent releases in Tim Burton, and strengths from classics and uh, 2010s comedy from people because I don't know. <laughs> but you get get it right, you get two points. You can also check down multiple choice for one point. Uh, 
They are stealing. Holy shit. Uh, Payson, you're on the lead. Spin first or defer. Uh, yeah. I'd say we defer. Well, oh, thank God. <laughs> Not looking at it. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Is Joseph manager there? Yes. Okay. Hello. This is your first spin, Joseph. Lands on recent releases. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Respin, please. Again. Okay. It'll land on the category of 2010's comedy. Payson, will you please read uh, the 2010's comedy questions? I will. But... <laughs> that would be... Dylan, <laughs> Dylan <right>? please God. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's all right. All right, so Joseph, your first question in 2010's comedies. In what 2010's comedy does the main character grow a social media following under the persona American Businessman 42? Multiple choice, please. All right. Your options are A, the intern, B, unfinished business, C, the wedding ringer, or D, a walk in the woods. C? That is incorrect. So Payson for the one point steal. Is it A, the intern, B, unfinished business, C, the wedding ringer, or D, a walk in the woods? Is it A? That is also incorrect. We're looking for B, unfinished business. So Joseph, your next question. Who directed Barbershop The Next Cut? Multiple choice, please. Your options are A, Malcolm D. Lee, B, Nicholas Stoller, C, Greg Matola, or D, David Wayne. Malcolm D. Lee. That is correct for one point. In the to-do list, Brandy gets a summer job as what? Multiple choice, please. Your options are A, a camp counselor, B, a barista, C, a lifeguard, or D, an amusement park worker. Lifeguard? That is correct for one point. Penultimate question in the category. In what 2010s comedy... Sorry, let me try that again. What 2010s comedy features performances from professional wrestlers Mick Foley and Jake the Snake Roberts? Multiple choice, please. Your options are A, Hustlers, B, Peanut Butter Falcon, C, Jexy, or D, Guns Akimbo? The Peanut Butter Falcon. Uh, that is incorrect, so we will go to Pace. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, that, that, that was correct, the Peanut Butter yeah. Falcon. Okay. It's a, it, it didn't it, have... It, yeah. it multiple choice, that was my bad. Yeah. Right, sorry. <laughs> Payson made a face and I got worried. <laughs> That's uh, that is correct for one point. And your final question. In 30 minutes or less, Dwayne and Travis want to open up what type of business after Dwayne's dad is dead? Five, four, three. Multiple choice, please. Your options are A, a strip club, B, a nail salon, 
C, a modeling agency, or D, a tanning salon? Five, four. Could I hear the options three. again, please? Yep. So your options again are A, strip club, B, nail salon, C, modeling agency, or D, tanning salon? B as in boy. That is incorrect. Payson for the one point steal. Your options again are A, a strip club, B, a nail salon, C, a modeling agency, or D, a tanning salon. I believe it's a tanning salon. That is correct for the one point steal. All right. And with that, uh, and just turn, you will get his uh, total up to eight points and pacing in the steal with seven. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yep. Okay. With that. Bring in your manager, Payson, and bring this wheel back up because I am a professional. Doing good. All right. Doing good Going on your first spin, Payson. Uh, okay, yep. Ooh. Okay. And it lands on opponents. All right. Take choice. your time. Yep. Oh, God. You have the stream yardception. <laughs> yes. There so we go. We discuss this uh, classics, right? Yeah, he, he probably studied, but yeah, it's the broadest one it's, that I can approach. It's like it's yeah. like hundred years of movies, so classics. Classics, please. Yes. Alrighty. Okay. All right, Pace and I will read you your questions in classics. Are you prepared? For yes. Such? Alrighty. First question. Lauren Bacall, Willem Powell. And Marilyn Monroe all star in what 1953 romantic comedy? Let's go multiple just to be safe. Right. Multiple choice options are A, The Seven Year Itch, B, Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter, C, The Pajama Game. Or D, how to marry a millionaire. D, how to marry a millionaire. D is correct for one point. Yeah, All right. Next question. Who stars as Sergeant Archibald Cutter in Dunga Din? Archibald, Archibald Cutter. Multiple choice, yeah. Okay. A, James Stewart. B, Cary Grant. C. Humphrey Bogart or D. James Cagney? Cary Grant? Cary Grant is correct for one point. All right. In All About Eve, what happens to Margot that makes Eve have to go on her. In All About Eve, what happens to Margot that makes Eve have to go on as her replacement in the show? Am I frozen oh, right now? No. Yeah. I'm frozen I right know, now, right? right? Yeah, he's he's frozen, but I would would have gone multiple. Okay. Let's say it's I, multiple. Am right. I still here? Joseph, wait till the question's done. Just pause. Yeah. Go to multiple My, choice. Basic. It was frozen for. I'm just removing him until the if there's a chance okay. for a steal, we'll figure that out. But just go to multiple four. Multiple choice. Okay. okay. Multiple choice options are A, she had a baby. B, she got hit by a light. C, her car ran out of gas. Or D, she twisted her ankle. D? D is incorrect. Okay. Go over to Joseph for the one-point steal. Uh, so 
in Warzone. This never really has happened before. We've had people drop out completely of a call. We've never had somebody like almost interfere with the question and still be there, but not be there. Um, so what we're doing, uh, precedent may change in the future, so don't look at this as a future challenge. I'm not sure. That one's not available. So what we're going to do is we're going to award Joseph a steal on a multiple choice question. He doesn't get a chance for two. He doesn't, he doesn't get any indications. It's a different question. And then the match will continue with Payson's rest of Payson's questions. Right? Good luck. All right. <laughs> All right. What the boss said, everybody. <laughs> okay. But yes. Payson was incorrect. All right. Joseph, here's your makeup question. What is the profession of Julianne Craster in the red shoes? Is it A, a composer, B, a singer, C, a dancer, or D, fashion designer? Dancer? That is incorrect. The correct answer was composer. All right. Now we'll go back to Payson for his penultimate question in classics. In You Can't Take It With You, Grandpa Vonderhoff v convinces a banker named Poppins to quit his job and pursue his dream doing what? You gotta watch this movie. Uh, multiple choice. All right. Is it A, choreographing, B, making toys, C, sculpting, D, baking cakes? Repeat the options. We'll do. Is it A, choreographing, B, making toys, C, sculpting, or D, baking cakes? Making toys. Making toys is the correct answer for one point. All right. Now on to your final question in classics. What classic musical is about a town that only appears every 100 years. I kind of want to go for it. Multiple choice. Is it A, Brigadon, B, Damn Yankees, C, Camelot, or D, Carousel? I was going to say... A, so A. A is correct for one point. With that, that brings an end to round one, where I have Payson getting a score up to 11, Joseph staying at 8. Is that what you have, Dylan? Yes. All righty. We'll now move on to round number three, which is the pick your poison round, where competitors get to pick their one, two, three, and four pointers. From our categories today, we have Coen Brothers, War, Action Adventure, comic book movies, biopics, comedy, 2010s, or romance. They will pick their, they'll pick their categories right now, and we'll be back to you right now. All right, and we are back. Where are competitors pick their one, two, three, and four pointers. Uh, Joseph has picked his one in 2010s, two in war, three in Coen Brothers, four in biopics, and Payson has picked his one in action adventure, two in biopics, three in 2010s. And four and Cohen brothers. Joseph is currently behind. And uh, as I ask Payson his questions, I'll ask Joseph his round three questions. What the hell is that? I think that's coming from Joseph's end. Okay. Someone All outside right. my room. Okay. okay. All right. All right, we'll get started with Joseph's questions. Is round one. Uh, is one pointer, 2010s. Mm -hmm. Joseph, are you ready? Yes. All right. Who plays Joe March in 2019's Little Women? Saoirse Ronan. Saoirse Ronan is correct for one point. We'll now move on to your two-pointer in war. And your question will be... Who plays Joan Clark in the imitation game? Kira Knightley. That is correct for two points, which I believe ties it up. And we'll go to Payson's one-pointer. 
Yep. So, Payson, your one-point question in Action Adventure. Who directed Independence Day? Roland Emmerich. That is correct for one point. All right. We'll go back to Joseph for his three-pointer in Coen Brothers. What kind of location is Jerry arrested in Fargo? A motel. That is correct for three points. Me and Dylan are very glad you said motel. <laughs> and uh, with that, we will move on to Payson to answer his two-point question. Yep, so your two-point question in biopics. Who plays Coach Jones in radio? Ed Harris. And that is correct for two points. All right, since uh, uh, Payson has more questions, we'll stick with him for his three-pointer. Yep, so Payson, your three-point question in 2010s. Camden Brady and Marty Huggins are running for what political office in the campaign? Five. Four, repeat the question. Three. All right. That is your first repeat. Camden Brady and Marty Huggins are running for what political office in the campaign? Governor? That is incorrect. We were looking for congressman. Okay. All right. And with that, we'll move back to Joseph for his four-pointer in biopics. What biopic is about drug addict Nick Sheff and his journalist father, David? With Five, nail and eye. Four. That is incorrect. We are looking for beautiful boy. Oh, okay. All right. And with that, we'll move over to Payson in which he get if he gets this correct, he will win. If not, we will be going to sudden death. Dylan. All right. So your four point question in blood simple. What specifically is a special feature of the gun that Julian gave to Abby for their first anniversary? Five, four, three. The barrel is one. cloaked. I didn't write this down. That is incorrect. The answer we were looking for is a pearl handle. Okay. Which means we're going to sudden death, baby. Sudden death. <laughs> All right, so your first question in sudden death. Who voices the title character in The Adventures of Tintin? No banter here. It's too intense. You can. You Five, can't do it. Four, three, two, one. We'll go to Joseph first. Jamie Bell. And Payson? Jamie Bell. Both correct. Whoops, I dropped my marker. All right. Next question. Sonny teases his girlfriend for working at what restaurant in Big Daddy? So you're just going to read the rest of them then? Oh, uh, we'll have like next four or five, yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know if we can have that. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. All right, pens down. Payson. McDonald's? Joseph? I also said McDonald's. Both incorrect. We were looking for Hooters. Okay. All right, moving on. Who directed Cheaper by the Dozen? Which one? The 
two thousands version. Thank you. Okay. And five, four, three. Two. Repeat, please. All right, that is your first repeat. All right. Who directed uh, the two thousands version of Cheaper by the Dozen? All right, pens down. Uh, start with Joseph. Sean Levy. Payson. Sean Levy. Sean Levy is correct. All right. Moving on. All right. At the beginning of Sicario, the FBI finds what inside the walls of the house they bust into? Yep, that was it. <laughs> I'll repeat. Okay. At the beginning of Sicario, the FBI finds what inside the walls of the house they bust into? Please, if I am correct, Payson, is one more repeat. Yes, that's what I have as well. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, hands down. Go to Joseph. Dead bodies. Payson? I put a bomb slash explosives. And your winner, Joseph Olivas. The correct answer was dead bodies. That will go to our second place finisher, Joseph Olivas. I mean, sorry, Payson, Payson Johnson. There we go. Guys. It's heartbreakers. It is it probably one of the best matches of the year. To be completely honest with you, <laughs> how are you feeling? Yeah, that was just tough. Uh, I mean, I mean, both players basically got an opponent's choice game, and, that, and it was a shootout throughout. Uh, but I, I, I think Payson played a phenomenal game. Uh, I think that was a great game. Um, I think it just it, it literally just comes down to that one question. That's 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 the whole game. Uh, so I think both played great games, but yeah, no, I think if this match did anything, it's to show that Payson's, Payson's a champion in this league. He's going to be the champion in this league. He'll, he'll, he'll be back and he'll win it. So. All right. Payson yeah, does, mean, oh, sorry. Go uh, ahead. Uh, like I was going to say, uh, Cody said it earlier. I'm not sure if it's going to be on call. This was essentially a double opponent's choice game. Um, if I could take back one thing, I was thinking was it Brigadoon or Brigadoom, but you never know what could have happened. Um, I guess I got to do another Cohen's rewatch. Uh, I thought I had it down, but what can you do? I'll be back next time. All right, uh, Payson, this does mean your oh, this does mean your time in tournament has come uh, to an end. Who you open to play? Oh, who am I hoping to play? That's a good question. Um, I'll take anyone. Honestly, like usually, I have someone lined up. I'll honestly take anyone this time. Oh, uh, we we would like Jake Meltzer. Thank you. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. You know, he he calls me out a lot. I'll take Jake Meltzer. Sure, I'll take Jake Meltzer. <laughs> the current champion, it is. All right, we'll now go on to our winner today, Joseph Olivas. Joseph, I'm sure you're doing that to annoy everyone. But how do you feel? <laughs> Relieved. <laughs> like there were a few questions that I was a little 50 50 on and I went with the wrong one. I almost went with the Texas state for the giant question, but I was like, uh, is it California? Cause it's like an oil thing and there will be blood is California. I did that. I was too scared to go with Malcolm D Lee for two. So I ended up going multiple choice for that one. That would have saved us some time. And, but yeah, uh, Payson put the pressure on me, and that's what that's what counts. It's really insane. Uh, yeah, this this was a great game. I am very uh, very much eager to go to the next round, and also please give us more than a week, if possible. Then 
between matches. I literally had to prepare these two matches between my first one against Bill and then here in, within a week. I was like, what? I still need to rest. But yeah, uh, good game, Basin. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, like uh, Joseph said, yeah, this was a fantastic game. Like, it was basically like double opponent choice. I think we went to multiple choice on every single question. And yeah, but then they went to sudden death, and yeah, it was uh, just a, let's just say it was crazy. And yeah, whoever Joseph plays next, better watch out because this is a Joseph that is ready and will be more prepared the next time. So watch out. All right, Joseph, you did win, so it means you're moving on to tournament. Oh, and looky, look at that. Fun surprise. You're either playing number eight seed, David Nishimoto, or number nine seed, Kaser Wang, the person oh. next to you right now. <laughs> so, yeah. how yeah. do you feel about that, Joseph? I mean, it'll be fun to do a uh, make sure that Club Dread stays in the top eight, but I also, uh, but I also wouldn't mind uh, facing the other Ginyu player one-on-one. -on -one. Hopefully, I get to uh, continue on from where I stopped last year. So, yeah, you know, hopefully, we'll see. What he's trying to say is, fuck David. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, anytime we go to a sudden death, it's a good match, Dylan. Mm -hmm. How'd you feel? Yeah, I mean, that, you said it. I mean, that was one of probably the best matches this season. Like, that was just... Like maybe not the highest scoring going into sudden death, but it was like just very it showed just I feel like just how evenly matched these guys are. And yeah, next match in whether he plays whether Joseph plays uh, David or Kaiser should be a good match. That it will. All right, that will be it for that will be it for us today. So we can end this godforsaken thing. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you, the competitors, Payson and Joseph, and the managers, Kaiser. And Coho, and to my cohort Dylan, all of us in multi multiplex movie Warzone, say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Later. I'll be right here. After you, Junior. We'll always have Paris. Bye, bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. You get a light. You could take a photo. Bye. I feel like that was turning into multiverse by the end.